Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, there's a, oh, there's already one person here. No shit. Last second show. Just decided to come on like three minutes ago. So let me know when you're here. Check in when you get in, all that good stuff. Who's here? Who's that single one person watching? Hmm. Could be anybody. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's see here. I guess I'll uh, I'll uh, play a little song by yours truly while well, we're waiting for a few people to get here. This is me. One of the first songs I recorded. Make sure you check in when you get in. Winky Bobby's here. He says, hello, Captain. Of course, you're the first one to write. What's up, Winky Bobby? How you doing, buddy? This is a totally unplanned achievement slayer. What is going on, dude? I love the fuchsia hand. Nice. Look at My face just turned fuchsia for a second. Um, What's going on, man? How you doing? Good to see you. All right. Let's see here. We'll play the uh, let's play the Captain Crappy thing. Here we go. Oi, oi, oi. Star Wars superhero Jaja. Theme song over. Let's just see what happens here. Um, whew, boy, man, I just listened to a whole like three hours worth of fucking news and my head's about ready to explode. Achievement Slayer says he's uh super stressed out under a lot of pressure. What's wrong, man? You all right, dude? What's going on? What's so stressful in this time of um, well, stress, I suppose. Oh, what the fuck? That's not the right lighting for tonight. It's just wrong, man. It's all wrong. I must have fucking hit the light or something. Wiggy says, don't forget your shades. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks, Bobby. I should put my shades on. I look a lot cooler. All the kids think I'm really hip. All the youngsters, they think, uh, they're like, oh, that Captain Crappy guy, he totally connects with us young folk. Thanks for reminding me, Wiggy. You're a good boy. Oh, what the fuck is going on here, man? What the shit, man? Oh. Oh, that's what keeps happening. Sorry. Let me get my shades on, buddy. Um, there we go. Much better. Much better. Let me pop my shades here. Uh, where are my shades, dude? Wiki, what'd you do with my shades, man? Um, oh, here we are. Okay. Okay, okay. Achievement Slayer says, uh, a VA disability mental health reevaluation. I can get my, my I can get my benefits reduced or taken away. Well, that sucks, dude. Um, what are you not crazy enough? Is that what it is? I mean, of course they're gonna take away your benefits. They're gonna give them to somebody who doesn't fucking belong here. You know, they can't afford all you. All you guys from the VA that fought for the country or served your country, um, they can't keep, they can't afford to pay you and people who cross the fucking border illegally. That's craziness, dude. You got to really act crazy, dude. Um, go in there with nipple clamps on or something. I don't know. Zank says, "Hey, what's up, Zank? Zank Donick, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. That sucks, dude." Yeah, they really don't take care of our fucking um it's weird because I know some people who who were in uh Jess Mess Mess says aloha I can't crap you. What's up, Jets? I knew you'd show. Um <laughs> Zeng says uh, good to be here, good to see you too. Uh yeah, man. This was I literally, 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 and I hate using that word because you know whose word literally is. Um 
decided to do a show like five minutes ago. I was listening to something. I was listening to Tim Pool, and I was like, oh, God, my head's going to fucking explode. I might as well just do a show. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, dude, we can't afford to take care of the people that took care of this country. But like, oh, like I was saying, I know guys that never even served and got hurt, like not even hurt, like just whatever way, turn their back out of whack or whatever, like working on a helicopter and they get like five grand a fucking month and everything. And then I know guys that are on the streets and can't get a fucking thing. I don't get it. Wiki says, hello, it's that's mess, 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 turning guns. What's up, turning guns? He's lurking. Uh, are those the lurking eyes? I love those lurking eyes. You know what those lurking eyes need? That's right. Official. Um, these are official glasses to see the, um, you know, the, the uh, what do I call it? What's that thing coming up? The um, Eclipse. Jets, Jets says, Wiki Bobby, my man. Yeah, um, they are selling these for three bucks a pair at every gas station and uh, Target and Walmart and whatever in Ohio because Ohioans are dumb enough to fucking buy these things, man. Oh my God. Achievement Slayer says, Tim Pool, that milk toast fe face fence setting liberal who claims to be mo a moderate. Psh, yeah, that, uh, according to him, but he's a, he's a slightly right of centrist kind of guy. He knows it. But that's the way, that's the way he, um, that's like, um, that's his, that's his, uh, his hall pass to say some of the things he says and get away with it, gets away with it. You know, as far as any other out media outlets concerned, he, they call him far right. So Zenk says he's drifted right. He's drifted right over the years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of us have, we've had to, cause there's, there's no room left for us on the left, you know? Um, I always say the left, I didn't leave the left, the left left me. Oh, Wiki Bobby says Marks, they're only 79 cents. Well, that's because that's Marks, our dis our discount store here in Ohio. But uh, yeah, somehow they con people into spending money on these things. And guess what you gotta do? All you gotta do is put on two pairs of sunglasses, dude. Same fucking thing, man. I could probably wear these a whole show. Well, maybe not, they're a little bit dark, but I can see light. Um, you know. <sighs> Dude, you don't look at it while you don't look at the sun while there's only like a little, just a teeny little piece of it. I mean, if you really have to see it go over, um, but you don't have to look directly at it. You could look like two or three inches down from it. And even then, like I've stared at the sun in my life and never had a problem with my eyes. Like I used to dare myself to do it just to see if somebody was lying to me. And apparently I think they were or, or greatly exaggerating one or the other. I've looked at the sun dozens of times and never had anything happen. Um, or, you know, watch it through a fucking camera, you know, put put on your, you know, put your phone in front of your face and, and watch it or something. I don't know, man. I'm going to live stream the thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it or if we're going to have uh, Jim Satanman do it or the puppet or whatever. I'm going to be outside my yard, so I might, might as well go crazy. Zeng says, I've seen plenty of sunsets without a problem. Exactly, Zeng. This is this is the dumbing down of America right here, all represented in this little like pretend I love America stars and red and all that stuff. Um, Achievement Slayer says, remember the Will Ferrell space, the infinite frontier skit? No, I don't. I do not. I do not remember that at all. Achievement Slayer. Dude, it's good to see you here for more than like two seconds. You always come in right at the end of the show. You came in right at the beginning this time. Um Sorry, I'm drinking uh, a little end of the world Pepsi here every once in a while. I still have my jug of water right here, though. Um, no, I haven't seen it. Why? What's so groundbreakingly important about it? Uh, Zenk says, I do recall the SNL rubber biscuit. I don't remember that either. You know, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be able to watch. Um, Saturday Night Live, and then uh, and then that early '80s cast came on with Billy Crystal and uh, and uh, Jim Belushi, and uh, or no, actually, first it was um, the Eddie Murphy, Joe Piscopo years. Eddie Murphy was all right, but everything else was garbage on that show. It was really dumb, not funny. Julia Louis Dreyfus, people like that. Stephen Slayer says he portray oh he portrays his Harry Carey. The fam I love his Harry Carey ones, but no, I didn't see. 
the infinite frontiers kid. I don't think with him as Harry Carey. Does he uh, talk about the cheese, the, the moon being made of green cheese? Probably. Um, <laughs> he stopped doing Harry Carey when Harry Carey died. Uh, Zeng says SNL has been hit or miss since its inception. Yeah, there's good years and there's dumb, there's shit years, you know. Achievement Slayer says he talks about the eclipse and says that he once stared at the sun for over an hour. Heck, he took took a pair of binoculars to the sun. <laughs> That's funny. KP Heathens here. What's up? Says, hey, Captain, what's going on, buddy? Joe Morgan says, hey, all great to see you. Well, he says, uh, everyone going crazy selling stuff, solar eclipse stuff from food to glasses and other stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can get um, eclipse hot dogs or whatever, you know. I didn't know, like, all these people are traveling to see it and stuff. Like, dude, we are so stupid. <clears throat> and it's funny because a lot of the people are the people who should know better. Like these are these things that they're throwing out in front of us to keep us from, from realizing that, uh, you know, Joe Biden molested his daughter or his son or both of them or whatever, or all these other things that we're not supposed to think about that we know are true. Zombie forces. What's up captain and thumbs up to everybody. What's going on? Achievement Slayer says, uh, it was a hilarious get. Jeff Goldblum was just rolling along with it. I saw that. I remember that one. Now it was a good skit. You're right. Joe Morgan says, uh, it's the new fad. The day after will be something new. No, it won't. It'll be the same as every other fucking Y2K event, whatever other bullshit that get you thinking about. How did we get here? How did we get Turning Guns uh, put up a link for uh, John B. Roy's food repair? Great SNL. <laughs> um, Turning, put that in the comments. You won't, but do it if you can. Um, I'd like to see that. Uh, what you call it, but, uh, yeah. How do we find ourselves here? Well, it's the dumbing down of America. It's been going on for a hundred years. And, um, you know, when guys like my age, 50 years old, I was born right in the middle of it. So I, you know, when I was born, we had already lost a certain amount of freedom, but I didn't know, I didn't know it existed. The things that we lost before I was born, I've never witnessed. So I didn't know we had those kind of freedoms. Um, now, um, you know, you could put, uh, uh, science, science experiments, stuff in your arm, uh, heroin and fentanyl are legal in Portland. Well, now they're not, but whatever in Washington. Um, but raw milk is illegal and they will, and the feds will come and take you down for it, selling it. Um, that has to do with the way our food has been manipulated. Joe Morgan says, I liked, uh, the samurai thing blue. She did. Yeah, that was funny. Turning gun says, um, I fucking do it every time you ask me fandom, LOL. Do you? Because I, I don't, wait, or maybe you're not the pe person I'm asking most of the time. Um, please do. Thanks. I appreciate it. KP Heathen says, earlier I went out to smoke a cigarette and seen a plane flying, then a second one behind and a third one to the left. They must have been uh, air refueling. Hmm, maybe. Zombie Force is 50-year-old youngster. Yes. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm totally young still. That's what sucks, man. I'm going to die right in the middle of my life. Unfortunately, I'll live to be 100, and I'll, I'll see everybody I know die, and I'll end up yelling at garbage cans on the middle of the street. Turning Guns says, sup, Joe. KP Heathen says, hey, Joe Morgan, and Turning Guns. Joe says, so, okay, to be fair, raw milk used to be responsible for loads of miscarriages. Okay. Um, but things are different, man. Like, there's 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 ways of testing it. Um you know, people, people who live on farms have been drinking raw milk for their whole fucking lives and, uh, you know, whatever. Um, that's just one teeny tiny little food thing that had, that's like, that's like just the tip of the iceberg had, wrapping all of our, of our, uh, chemical filled food, garbage food in plastic. And the thing that what, what these plastics have done to us over the decades, um, the fact that most of the chemicals we put in food are illegal in other countries. Um, but they're starting to legalize them, you know, in these other countries. So turning guns, waving to KP wiki says, uh, back then SNL went up against mad TV. Yeah. Back in the nineties, I think it was Joe Morgan says, Billy KP, Captain Zank, wiki zombie. What's up everybody. Wiki says, hello, Joe Morgan, Joe, hope things are going well for you, brother. Um, thanks for that comment on uh, my song today. It was cool. Zombie four says, I thought once if I married my mom, um, I would have had to put up with a stepchild like myself. <laughs> you are ridiculous, man. <laughs> Zombie force. I love you, brother. Um, yeah, man, like it is doom and gloom out there. Like I remember doing a show, I think like a month ago and I was like, wait, you know, it, the rate of acceleration that I'm always talking about, I thought it was going straight up 
somehow it's going straight up and back a little bit and then straight up and then forward a bit and then straight up even more. I didn't know it could go as fast as it's going right now. Every day there's three or four insane things in the news, at least insane shit that never would have happened any other time, never been would have been put up with any other time. Now, um, we are no longer... Um, we are no longer represented by people in a, in a government that we pay. We are being ruled. This country is being ruled. I figured that out yesterday. Um, we are being ruled. And, and they give us the uh, illusion that we're putting people there to represent us. But these people, AOC doesn't vote for her constituents. Her constituents fucking hate her, you know, and they're not going to let her lose an election either. Believe me, believe it. You know, she's she's one of the future fucking commie leaders of this country. And we are being led and they are going to mix communism with world government. They got U.N. troops, boots on the ground in fucking Ukraine. Um, Blinken came out today and said Ukraine will be in the U.N. He might as well have said, President, hit the nuke, hit the nukes. OK, because this is what's going to happen. Um, we're not even supposed to have U.N., not one pair of U.N. boots on the ground in Ukraine. Um Putin, who is a madman, he's a psycho, I believe that, but you know, he's also well within his rights right now to send nukes to New York fucking city. He told them, don't put any more UN countries on my borders. What'd they do? Finland, uh, wh whoever else they put on there, on their borders. And he's like, all right, all right, okay, but this time for real, no more. Now the Ukraine thing, um, he's, he's, he's well within his rights to fucking do whatever he wants to this country because we keep fucking... Poking the bear, you know. Um, Joe Morgan says, uh, things going uh, par for the course. Mom's sick with the flu and I can't visit for protocol reasons. I finally tapered down enough to quit drinking. Good for you, man. I was hoping that would happen, Joe. Um, hang in there, brother. First couple of weeks are the hardest. Once you're sober for a week, you'll never be more sober than you are that day. Joe Morgan says, hey, cha-cha. Uh, oh, cha-cha's here. Cha-cha. I, I say cha-cha. Other people say cha-cha. Um, zombie forces says thumbs up, Joe Morgan. Cha cha is giving love to Joe. Zombie forces, cha 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 says zombie. Zombie forces, Ukraine uh, army is getting their ass handed to them, especially today. They do every day because they're the only people left in their army are fucking 50 dudes my age who are you know probably still reading GI Joe comic books and um and and young women they pull off buses they pull these people off buses hand them guns and a pair of boots and send them to the fucking front line it's insane you know oh but you know more money 50 billion more will help these old people and young women fight the war okay makes sense uh zombie force uh oh i already read that one cha cha says joe sorry mama is sick uh turning gun says hello to cha cha um so, yeah, man, it's it's insane what's going on. Like, I cannot believe, cannot believe where this country's at right now. It's the most unbelievable thing in the world. Somehow, we are well on our way to becoming a third world country, and it seems like it's the plan. Like, that's what they want. Um, you know, I, I work with a guy who uh, buys houses, fixes them up, and then rents them. And he thinks he's like on his way somewhere. And I was trying to tell him today, I'm like, dude, you're small potatoes, man. Pretty soon by 2030, guys like you will be out of the picture. Uh, BlackRock Vanguard is going to come through and buy every house that goes up on the market for 30% above market. And, and they're going to beat guys like you way out of the game. And there will be no more ownership left. These fucking kids, these millennials don't know what to do with generational wealth. When their parents leave them a house, they fucking sell it for $80,000 quick sale. And that $80,000 is gone within a year or two because they uh, they have to live a certain way. They got to get the newest iPhone. They got to pay $7 for a coffee because generic coffee, they can't be seen with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? They got to eat DoorDash. Who the fuck pays 20 bucks for a goddamn Whopper, dude? That's so fucking stupid. That's so millennial Gen Z. I, I don't even get it. Like, dude, it's right up the street. Get off your ass and go fucking get it, man. Instead of paying all that money for one little fucking meal. But, you know, oh, I guess everybody's got money to burn, even though they have no money, you know? Um, but they can get on their, you know, people can get on their social media and be like, oh, I got DoorDash. You know, I'm just like you. Um, turning, uh, people are just saying, hello, hello, hello. Chacha says, bought a 9 and 22 yesterday. 
Nice. Good, good. You're going to need those. Joe Morgan says, I saw that. Uh, I saw that, Cha-Cha. Very cool. Cha-Cha says, uh, Joe, thank you for the info on CCI. Turning Gun says, uh, a 9 and a 22 equals 31. Ooh, love your math skills there, Turning Guns. Uh, Cha-Cha is laughing. Cha-Cha says, uh, turning next will be 45. Dude, I love my, I got, I had a 1911. Well, no. Someone I know had a 1911 45. And it was fucking beautiful, man. Um, I don't know. Joe Morgan says, broke is the new black, right? Zombie Force says, Russia did discuss uses of tactical nukes in Ukraine as Americans did to Japan to stop loss of soldiers. It could happen legally. Dude, you know what? I'm at the point. Here's the point where I'm at. Whatever want Russia wants to do, they should do. And we should never have stuck our fucking noses in. Because you know what? It's none of our fucking business. Ain't nobody in the world, no other country in the world coming over to help us with our fucking border crisis right now. Ain't not, not one country has given us $1 to help take care of all the fucking Chinese, Colombian, Mexican, fucking uh, whatever, all the people coming over our captain, not not one country has ever helped us with anything. Not a goddamn, they didn't even help us with fucking 9-11, okay? They, they got on, I mean, they had their leaders get on the news and go, oh, our thoughts and prayers are with America. You know what thought, thoughts and prayers are worth? <laughs> Shit, garbage. Uh, zombie says, exactly, Captain. Cha-Cha says, sleeper cells. Oh, yeah, this country is ripe for a takeover, but I think before the takeover happens, we'll just be a third world country. That's what they want. They want everybody making just enough money to pay for their pod and their shampoo, and that's it. Turning Gun says, uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, I'm not going to say those things out loud just because, um, you know, because, oh, also, YouTube cracking down. Uh, if I'll be lucky if this channel is still up and running within the next couple months. Um, I saw something today about they're going to double down, especially for the election season. So, but they've always done that. So Cha Cha says, um, turning, I don't like Glocks, uh, Joe Morgan saying hey, everybody's doing brand names of those things. Um, I like, um, I don't know. Not a fan of those either. I don't, I really don't like those. I, 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 there's other things that I think I like. It depends on, I think each, each different thing I've had, there's different brands that are better than others at some. CZ, it is then. Uh, congratulations. Um, says turning goes. Uh, Joe Morgan says it's public record in my local area. You can look it up. What? Wait. Uh, Joe Morgan, what did he say that it's, what's public record? What's public record? Um, Cha Cha is laughing. Um, yeah, man, uh, this God, dude, like fucking doom and gloom, man. I am fucking, I'm almost sad and I never get sad, dude. Um, I get mad once in a while though. Um, but I, I apparently, I don't know how to process it, process that well. Uh, whatever, speaking of processing, whatever happened to, um, Achievement Slayer? Uh, Joe Morgan says barbecue incident was self-defense. He even lived. Um, yeah, uh, Achievement Slayer, uh, was talking about, uh, he might lose his, uh, his VA benefits. Of course, they'll take them away from somebody who, who served the country and, but, but totally take care of people who illegally came here and are causing crime and all that shit. Dude, they, they catch these fucking violent criminals, let them right back out on the street within 24 hours. They kill somebody. Oh, but that's just a very small amount. Well, you know, I'm hearing an awful lot about this small amount. And for, for left-wing media to be reporting as much as they are, I can't even imagine what they're not reporting. Like the stories that we're not hearing about what people, border crossers are doing right now. Because the ones we're hearing are pretty goddamn awful and terrifying. I can't even imagine the one the stories that we're not hearing. Um Chacha says, of course. Oh, Achievement Slayer says he's still here. Oh, did you change your uh you change your your uh, thing? It's not pink anymore. Or what? no, no, it wasn't. Never mind. Chacha says, "Of course, that really pisses me off." Turning guns says, "See Joe Morgan latest video for context." Okay. Um, Zombie four says, "A little propane and a four inch pipe, some old nails." Oh, dude, real cloud pleaser. Gotta watch what you guys say in my thing, man. I want to keep my channel going for a little bit. Like, I'm not about censorship, but if we don't need to talk about some things, like you know, that kind of stuff, let's not. If you don't mind. I got a lot of work and money sunk into this. Joe Morgan says, uh, oh, he was laying there screaming for him. Okay. Man, come on, guys. 
Cha Cha says, uh, I'm getting my uh, well handed for EMP prevention. Oh, that's uh, that's a smart idea. Uh, Turning Gun says, uh, I had a neighbor like that zombie. I learned a lot. LOL. Um, yeah, man, things are dark, dude. And I'd love to believe that things are darkest before the dawn. But like I was saying last week, there's no roadmap back. It took them 100 years to get this country where we're at right now. There's no turning back. Four years of Donald Trump is not going to do much. I mean, he's going to be sandbagged anyway, um, just like last time. So, so hey, you know. Hard, oh, she said Harden. Okay, Harden for the uh, EMP. I got it. I figured out. Um, anyway, yeah, four years of Trump is not enough to undo 100 years of pure fucking evil, man. It's not going to happen. I know everybody thinks he's like the Messiah and everything, and I'd, I'd like to think, I know I know he'll try to do a great job, but he'll be sandbagged, and um, this country's done, man. This experiment is over. It's over. We're being ruled. It's been 100 years of chipping away at our fucking rights. Um, halfway, you know, a hundred years into the constitution, you know, the people that got together were like, this isn't working for us, you know, and it's, it goes back to the robber barons back to fucking Rothschild and fucking, um, Rockefeller and, and the, the monster from Jekyll Island, all that stuff has been eating away, eating away at everything of ours, our money, our, do you think there's any, does anybody here really think that there's even gold dust left in fucking Fort Knox? Cause there isn't. There's nothing. That's why it's the most well-guarded place on earth is because there's nothing there. And as soon as people find out there's nothing there, the entire lie crumbles. Um, oh, KP Heathens here. What's up, buddy? Oh, I already think I said hi to you. He says, hey, touch on zombie force. Um, Cha-Cha says, KP. Uh, zombie says, let us all pray. Yeah, I don't know that. I mean, you can pray in one hand, shit in the other, see which one fills up quicker. Joe Morgan says, there will be no dawn. I don't think those, I don't think so either, man. Chacha says too much is wrong for him to easy fix for sure. Yeah, even if we could get 15 years of fucking Trump at his best. Now, you remember, he is old. I mean, he's spry, but he's old too. Um, even if we got 15 years of his best work and he wasn't sandbagged, there's still no way to get rid of 100 years of what has been happening to our world and our country. Um you know, and these groups, these Bilderbergers, these WEFs, these all these fucking groups do the shit out in the open and nobody fucking says a word about it. Nobody, even the even the supposed, you know, Fox News or whatever, like like all they are is paid opposition. All they are is somebody for CNN and MSNBC to make fun of. OK, and vice versa. You know, that's and it's the same thing like in government. Hey, iconic. Hello, chat. What's up, Steel and Tree? How you doing? Uh, Turning Gun says I just got home from work. Got to put in some coffee. Joe Morgan says, 90 years ago, my grandparents could buy a Thompson through the mail with no issues. Yeah, let's stop talking. Hey, do you guys mind stop talking about that stuff in my chat? Man, no offense. I'm not. I'm. You guys talk about that anywhere, man, but they're, they're cracking down. They're really cracking down. And I agree with all the things you're saying. I just, I like did put a lot of work into this channel and I did, it is my only outlet for, 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 you know, anything because I don't have anybody in my life. So I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Wiki Bobby says, hello, Steel and Tree. Zombie Force says, um, battle coming either way. Just brace properly. Exactly. Get ready. Be prepared. Do what you can. Joe Morgan says, hi, Eric. I'm to the point now. Um, I was completely prepared and everything. And the more I think about it, the more I, I, I'll just take the easy way out. I don't want to be around for fucking Walking Dead. Steel and Tree says, hey, Joe, Wiki. Do you know... Dude, people are already garbage human beings. Do you, can you even imagine? Like, I don't even think these post-apocalyptic movies do it justice. Can you imagine the fucking marauders and what people are going to do to other people? Dude, just the people 20 minutes down the road in Cleveland. I can't even imagine what, I mean, because I know what they're capable of when there's law and order and stuff. They don't pay attention to any of it. Wait until there's nothing stopping them, dude. I can't, I can't, I don't even want to imagine the fucking horrors, the horrors, the things that you'll see that you cannot unsee. Steel Tree says, KP, hello. I don't say no, hello, hello. Tacha says, I checked the site today for silver rounds and they are now making a round that breaks into quarters. What does that tell you? Well, it tells you, uh, well, you should probably have a lot of that junk silver, you know, uh, mercury dimes and shit like that. Um, old quarter stuff like that. Zombie Force is stealing tree. Joe Morgan says Fort Knox has the world's largest stash of gold cheese opioids. 
gold cheese opioids and pre-registry. Dude, I just asked you guys to stop saying those names, names of those things in my chat. Please, I'm not being a dick, man. I just want to, I just, you know, I don't have any other outlets, man. I, I'm not on a hundred other fucking uh, other people's channels and shit, you know. Um, Cha Cha says, uh, indication of barter, barter, barter. That's the only way to get, that'll be the only way to get by, man. It's barter, barter, barter. It says, delete the comments you don't like. Uh, I don't like deleting people's comments. I'm just asking the, I just ask a small favor. That's all. Um, Joe Morgan says the fallout trailer looked good. Uh, is that, oh, that's that, uh, video game people like Michael King's there. What's up? He says the minute food is an issue, you will see the monsters come out. Yeah. Auto take is, uh, after three days, people will be going crazy. We get by, says, uh, captain do, uh, got someone in his life. General Custer. Oh yeah, I, I got general Custer. That's true. Joe Morgan says, Oh, I saw a fun one today. Akron police have asked people to stop pissing in cop cars. <laughs> that's up by me, man. Joe, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Bug out adventures here. What's up? Says evening y'all evening. Michael King says, uh, get public hooked on relying um, on the shops instead of being self-sufficient was the plan and it worked right. Get rid of all, get rid of all, um, local commerce, get it all into these big, uh, box stores. And then when, uh, shit hits the fan, all the big box stores get emptied out and turned into camps for people like us. So, um, Joe Morgan says, I said, uh, I said the bad word before you guys. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry about that, man. Zombie four said, uh, I'm sorry. I'm having a really bad day, dude. Um, I actually lost my temper today and I don't ever, ever lose my temper. So zombie four says, uh, they're going to treat the suburbs like Kmart free for all 100. Yeah. Right. Luckily we like, now we do have a street that borders, um, that would be very easily easy for all these guys and these good old boys in my area to go down to and, and, and make a stand of sorts, you know, make sure people don't get to cross it, but you know. Uh, Cha Cha says it's better to delete them once we read them or, uh, or you boobs may take you out or, oh yeah, exactly. Um, like the, the only reason I even thought about that is cause I just saw a video today. They just passed another new YouTube thing where they're going to be, uh, they're demonetizing people with millions of fucking followers. And they're, or there's, there's somebody I know that had like 250,000 followers that they're lucky to make 200 bucks. And, uh, I mean, they play car they play commercials on my shit, dude. Uh zombie force, the bug. I don't want to. I mean, I definitely Teresa's here. What's up, Teresa? A bug out, what's going on? My migraine finally went away around five. It's funny because I'm getting one right now. Cha Cha said Teresa bug out it's a zombie force. Someone's saying hello, hello, hello. Joe Morgan says they are actually buying super soakers out and filling them with piss and looking for open cup cop car windows it's like seriously you leave your gear in the cruiser roll the goddamn windows up yeah well that's a i don't know i mean that's what they do fucking animals do animal things zombie four says Teresa, it's up bug out. everyone's saying hello 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 joe morgan says mine's in full force bug out um cha cha says yes they are oh uh, wiki says now a few years ago a few years ago uh they did a fallout series on youtube i think it was made in french really Bearded Psycho Billy, long time no see, dude. What's going on? He says, Hey, y'all, good to see you, fuckers. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying, Hey, hey, uh, Beard, hey, Psycho Billy, what's going on? Everybody, Teresa, hello, how you doing? Um, yeah, man, it is fucking oh god, dude. And I'm like usually like the beacon of hope, like, oh, maybe we can if we just really work together, and blah blah blah. Not anymore, man. Um, I don't want to see it. I really don't. I, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to leave my dog alone, of course, but you know, I, I mean, how long do you, how long do you, how long do you think your luck, how long, what's your, what do you, I mean, I know you guys are all blanked to the teeth and, and you're the best, uh, you know, preppers and all that stuff in a row, but how long do you honestly think you're going to hold out when the hordes come through from the ghetto? Huh? I mean, seriously, like, let's hear some numbers. How long do you think you can make it after after zero hour, after shit hits the fan? Bug out says, bearded psycho, really great to see y'all. Achievement Slayer says, uh, when the shit goes down, we'll see what the cops are on. Uh, they'll they'll be protect. They won't be cops. They'll be protecting their feet, their 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 uh, families or whatever. If they even do that, government or the people. My bets are on the government, so my empathy for them are low. Exactly. Well. Here's the deal: the the people that all that are going to take up arms against us. You never know how 
what a person will do until they're desperate. Okay. The government will offer citizenship for service or whatever. So, so if you're in, in their like, you know, militias or whatever armies, um, they'll take care of you to an extent, as long as you do exactly what you're told and what exactly what you're told is going to be very ugly stuff. You know, like, remember, uh, what was that movie running man? The, the, where they, uh, they, 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 they uh, framed Schwarzenegger for all that dumb shit. That's what they're going to have people doing for sure. So, um, I have turned into a non-sympathetic person, uh, to the sheep bearded psychobilly says me too, dude. I am on that shit right now. Uh, KP Heathen says, uh, uh, hey, Psycho Billy and Teresa Buchanan, Jim Morgan says, hope is the lie we tell ourselves to get out of bed. True, true. I'm to the point now where I'm just going to start living like an absolute fucking maniac. Zombie Force says, don't feel bad, Captain. My 87-year-old dad yelled at me today um, like I was 16 all over again, and then he brought me a chocolate coffee. See, those that's what life is worth, man. That's, that's what makes life worth living is those little moments, Zombie Force, made you feel like a 16-year-old. Your dad did. There's probably one guy on earth that can do that to you, and it's probably him. Chacha says, uh, well, I just bought 15,000 things, so yeah, we'll see. How long is that good for? You know? Bearded Cycle Billy says, hey, KP. Bug Out says, 97 out of 100 it won't make it past the first year, 3% truly. That's, boy, you're giving out some really good odds there, dude. I don't think... Out of 100 people, I would be surprised if one person makes it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can only carry so much, you know, you can have your, your, your bunker filled up for the next 10 years. And all it takes is one, uh, one accidental, we got in and kicked you out and then you're out walking and with no shoes on and nothing, but your, your clothes on your back and no shoes. And they're eating all your food and using all your other things that you got saved up. So, you know, you better have people with you. You better, it better be more than just you. Is what I'm saying. Psycho Billy says, uh, he looks at you and still sees that little boy. I know, isn't that nice? Uh, Zombie says, uh, I have a good location on a peninsula, peninsula, and you are welcome, Captain, and my homies. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Beard Psycho, Psycho Billy says, we all do. Joe says, uh, everyone I've been close to is dead now, minus mom, and she's so sick, she's not answering her phone. I'm sorry about that, man. Um, Chacha says, refill pews. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it doesn't do you could have a thousand of those and 20,000 of the things that go in those for every single one of them. You could have 20 years worth of food. You could have all kinds of and if it's just you, you're not going to last long. I'm telling you that right now. And if you got two or three friends with you, you better hope they're fucking honest, man, because it's all nice and it's all easy and nice to say, oh, I'd never do anything horrible to you right up until somebody gets fucking uh People, people in this country are fucking psychos, man. Like, uh, right up until they either get jealous of what you have or, and you don't know about it or whatever. I mean, dude, watch the walking dead. Like, I, I know there's not zombies or anything, but look at the shit that those people went through just in the first five seasons. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's probably going to be lightweight compared to, I mean, that stuff's just there for storytelling. Imagine what people are going to do when nobody's watching them. You know, and nobody cares about a God. So I don't know. Joe says, I'd rather have something to get through hard times than just give up. Yeah, I know. But how long do you want to live like that for? Stray Cats have a song. How long do you want to live anyway? Hey, live fast, die hard, leave a good looking corpse. Teresa says 100%, Captain. Thank you. Uh, Bug Out says, uh, I'm going out with a fight unless it's in my sleep. No matter the situation, give them hell till the end. Well, that's a good way to look at it. I'm not saying give up. Uh, Zombie Force says crazies like blades of grass. Yeah, oh, I know. Um, Bearded Psycho Billy says zombies are the sheep that got the pokes right. It's coming. Uh, 5G controlling the juice. Yeah, I know. Turning guns, Teresa gets a flower. See, that? those are the little things. Little things like that will still be worth living for, but... Dude, people like us are very few and far between, man. Most people are dumb, garbage, humans, fucking bottom feeders. Like, there are so much scumbags in a small fucking concentrated area of we have nothing in these cities, which I'm not too far from Cleveland. Um, it won't take long for them to all fucking migrate out because 
They're already isn't shit where they are. So the first day they'll be moving south. Um, Joe Morgan says most of the crap in the walking dead, uh, they brought on themselves by being stupid. Right. Um, no, I agree. But, uh, you know, they were trying to still live like the old days, you know what I'm saying? Be but here's the thing is once you take care of so many people and do so many things that you have to do, you're going to lose the guy that you were or the girl that you were before everything happened. You know, you can only do so, so much that we're psychological people. Um, we get damaged in the head from seeing things and be taking part in things, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just, I don't want to do, you know, I remember, I remember when they made it to that weird fucking like eco-friendly weirdo place, probably a bunch of leftist lunatics there. And they were like, like all of a sudden for the first time there, there was no zombies and no threats or anything. And they're like, you guys don't understand. You're going to lose this and blah, blah, blah. Like that's permanent damage, man. Um, but a uh, 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 bug out adventure says I did a risk assessment video based on 100 things that I learned from the walking dead. Ooh, that's smart. See, Chacha says, uh, we will feel, um, we will feel free to keep outsiders out and have awake duty. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, if you got a, a good, good chunk of people around you, but sooner or later when things start running low, you know, it's all it takes is one weak link. One guy that's been lying to you the whole fucking time. Uh, one, one skeevy little crap weasel bottom feeder to fucking wait for everybody to go to sleep. Uh, Wiki says, uh, like army food rations that last for 20 years old that expires. Yeah. Turning gun says, uh, did Eric drop a link to a new picture of his cutting board asking for myself? He, I think, yeah, he did. in my, um, he dropped two pictures in, uh, one of my videos I just put, I can't remember which one though. Zombie. I looked at him. Uh, zombie force says, uh, they live to just eat, but refuse to eat and just live cows. 100%. They get extreme with no food. Oh, I bet. Uh, bearded said pigs too. Uh, it doesn't take them long to get feral. Bearded psychobilly says uh, on zombie land, no pews allowed. Um, then got ROFL stomped. Okay. Teresa says Cleveland sucks. So does Akron Canton, right? I live in the country, but I'm still way too close to those areas. And yes, 100%. It won't take long for them to spread out to my area. Exactly, Teresa. And, and you know, like my tattoo shop was an hour away and it's off the, the highway ends. There's no more way to get out by my tattoo shop. So that would have been a very easy area to defend, but there's too many scumbags out there that will get greedy, you know? Um, it's all fun and games and we're all sharing when we're having a meal and all that kind of stuff until the food runs low, you know, or until so anything runs low. Turning gun says, I tried to convince the guy at work today that I wasn't crazy. It didn't work. <laughs> well, as long as you can convince yourself turning guns, I think that's all we really worry about now. Tetra says no, no drop of tree fell is dropping a tree. Wait, no drop of trees. Fell. That doesn't. I, I don't know what that means. No drop of trees fell is dropping a tree. Uh Joe Morgan says, "Yeah, I don't try telling people I'm not crazy. Yeah, I don't bother. You know, I, I admit if, if I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a little, just a little bit cuckoo, probably. Um, I'm not one of those people who are proud of it. Like, oh, I've got a diagnosis and I'm going to get on TikTok. I actually don't like it. Um, that's why I'm trying to get off of." the things that I'm on right now, which is very few because I've worked my way down off a lot of them. Um, Barrett Psycho Billy says, dumb fuckers look at smart fuckers as crazy fuckers. Ooh, boy, that should be a bumper sticker, Bearded Psycho Billy. I'm going to trademark that to you. Trademark Bearded Psycho Billy 2024, the last year of uh, United States of America. Bug out says, attorney guns, that's okay. You're our kind of crazy, right? Steve, I know I don't, I, you know, I hate coming on here being doom and gloom, man, but I just... I got to get away from YouTube. I got to stop watching news, man, because it's hitting now. Now it's like, it's not just one crazy thing a day. It's five crazy things a day. And I, I got a headache. I don't ever get headaches. Uh, Steel Tree says guns. Uh, no new picture. Wasn't a need for it. It looks the same as the second picture. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, turning guns. Uh, bug out gets a flower. Teresa says uh, bearded. Yep. Magic. Magic here. What's up? He says, I'm just eccentric. Me too. Joe Morgan says, great to see you, Magic. Turning Gun says, something Magic. Bearded Psycho Billy says, what? Zombie Force says, I'm crazy, but I just blame the woke. Right. 
these people are driving me bad shit for sure. Cause they, they won't listen. They'll look you straight in the eye and tell you lies that even they know are lies and still believe it. That's part of the problem right now is they got it all. They, everything's going so fast now because they found a way to scare people into believing anything and his skin is orange and his hair is fluffy and people will believe anything because they have got people so fucking scared of him that they will believe anything to get rid of him or do what they think is going to get rid of him. Um, Teresa says, you're not doing gloom. You're realistic. I know, but too much reality is kind of boring, right? Tasha says, we would cut trees so no one can get in a vehicle. Dropping or cutting down a tree is called felling a tree. Oh, yeah, I know. It just it was the way it was where it was weird. Um, yeah, but even that stuff, like I said, man, you, you know, you get, you know, even fucking Negan and all his dudes got taken out by a couple of hungry people with some pew pews, you know, um, just matters who wants it more, I guess, but it's always going to be somebody taking somebody else's shit. Um, magic is great to see, you know, a lot of people look at preppers as, oh, I'm glad they're doing the work for me. So when, when time comes, I can come get all their stuff. They're, they're, they're saving all the food for me. Um, Magic says, hi guys. I was sleeping, woke up. I was just going to have a smoke, but seeing Cap was like, oh, well, thank you for joining us. Beard Psycho Billy says, I don't look at that stupid shit I can't fix anymore until it's brought to my attention. Then it's a rabbit hole time. <laughs> I love that. I love your honesty, Bearded. Turning Gun says, thanks, Eric. Uh, I wait patiently. Thanks. Cha-Cha says, Magic. Uh, Magic says, great to see you, Cha-Cha and everyone. Joe Morgan says, yeah, I can't sleep sober for like five days. Uh, body doesn't like it. Well, Joe Morgan, if you want to stop drinking, that's what you have to do, man. It's time to fucking nut up, dude. Um, you know, I know you're going through some tough times right now, but doing that is not going to help anything or make anything easier. All it does is put it off one more day until it's the final day. So, yeah, I mean, you know, either do it or don't do it. That's that's my advice. Uh, Magic says, uh, checking on coffee, coffee sitch. Be right back. Okay, we'll be right here, Magic. Turning Guns is right bearded again. KB Heathen says, hey, Magic. Bearded Psycho Belly says, werewolf preppers, prey on preppers. Right, exactly. A lot of preppers are going to become prey. So um, better be smart, better have a plan. Magic saying hello to everyone I missed. Wiggy Bobby says, there's a show called uh, Life After People Show. What happened? People disappeared and they all showed up. One to 1,000 years later. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Wiki, I saw I know what you're talking about. Bug Out Adventures saying hey to people. What's up, Bug Out Adventures? How you doing? Zombie Force says, uh, I like uh, peanut butter and some hot crayons on the nipples. Takes your mind to a different place. It does. You're right, man. <laughs> I know you're going for a joke there, but that's kind of like real life for me. Uh, Bearded Psycho Billy says, hey, Bug Out. Bug Out says, Bearded Psycho Billy. Everyone's saying hello, hello. Bearded Psycho Billy's laughing his ass off. Um... Yeah, I really swear I didn't even really have an idea for a show tonight. Sorry, I'm out of frame there for a second. I had to grab my jug. Um, but uh, I got a headache. You know, I can't. Sleep. I was trying to lay down and relax with something over my eyes, um, so I so to, so there was no light getting in or anything. And just having a rough day, man. Lost my temper. I'm just. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm out of hope. You know. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, I sure did have a fun time doing that show. When was it, last night or the night before? Bug Out Adventure says there are some preppers who are stocking up for others. Yes, exactly. And I don't think that was the plan, but it's going to end up being the um, the uh, the turnout or whatever. Uh, Joe says, yeah, apparently today is National Migraine Day. I've never had a real migraine, I don't think. Um Bearded says, uh, in my old age, uh, I go from zero to asshole quick now. I, I Dude, I don't want to be an asshole, though. I like having fun and laughing, you know? I'm, I'm just not the asshole type. I mean, I, I am in my own way. Everybody is in their own way. But, you know, I try not to go out and put too much effort into it. Bug Out Adventure says, thank you for being here and sharing. Oh, thank you for coming and hanging out, man. It's for you guys to share, too, though. Bearded Cycle Billy says, me either, but people find my button. You know, that's a that's a that's a good um, observation there. You're right; it does happen. People do find our buttons. Um, Mad Catter, what's up, dude? He says fuck everybody feeling like shit. It feels like it's just one of those nights, man. Maybe it's something in the air. Maybe it's maybe it's um, it's pre eclipse uh, mania. 
who knows? Um, <coughs> uh, Steel Tree says, I'm not an asshole, but I play one on YouTube. Sure do. Fighter did Psychobilly says, hey, man. Uh, Joe Morris says, pretty much, Mad Cat. Mad Cat's giving fist bumps his cap. What's up? Beer did uh, Psychobilly says, hey, Eric. Sorry, I'm thirsty. And I got a few people I can kick it with, too, after shit hits the fan. It's not like I'd be totally alone. I got Mad Shad, fucking Gregory Jenkins, guy I live with Mike. Um, turning gun says I never get headaches, but if I did today would have been one all good now though. Good. Good for you. Turning guns. Steel tree says, Hey bearded mad catter says, Joey. We look it's green for a second. There it was mad catter's color. Just mess mess puts up the Instagram for captain underscore crappy, which will probably be taken down soon too. Even though I don't put anything political up there. Um, uh, Instagram is going to be, uh, uh, flushing the toilet and getting rid of a lot of people uh, with the incorrect uh, political beliefs, as is YouTube. Um, YouTube is sending out warnings right now. They are shadow banning big time, taking, uh, I, 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 I'm not crazy. They have been taking views and time and all that stuff away so people can't uh, monetize. What they're trying to do is keep all the, they, they got greedy and they're keeping all the advertising dollars for themselves, but they're putting their commercials on your shit. So, because I was watching one of my videos and a commercial came out. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Where's my money? Uh, Joe Morgan says, mine came from uh, head injuries and life's problems. I get that. Achievement Slayer still here. He says, my stream audio is screwing up on my Twitch stream. I'll be right back. All right, dude. Uh, Wiki Bobby's giving out drinks for everybody so we can get rid of our headaches. Mad Catter says, well, fuck them. Yep. Bearded Psychobilly says, a wife bought me a, a few for Valentine's and wants me to get her... Uh, Expo and some blackout care, dude. I've got the most wonderful two wonderful expos, and uh, it's cool because one of them is dead on accurate, the other one is so powerful. I'm afraid of it. It's uh, it's so powerful. I get I get these really nice uh, carbon bolts, and uh, no matter what it hits, it destroys the bolt, or the or the bolt just goes all the way through it like giant, thick, thick pieces of wood. It's insane. It's so powerful. I don't even know what to do with it. It's, I'm afraid to fire it. It's so powerful because um, I'm afraid to kill, some, you know, hurt somebody. Uh, the other one is very powerful, but it's also super accurate. And that one's a recurve. It's not a compound. So Achievement Slayer is back. What's up, buddy? Um, Joe Morgan says, YouTube leaves me alone for the most part. And they used to leave me alone. Zombie Force says, uh, I was accused of being an asshole at birth. I just grew bigger and wiser. Mad is healthy, not bottled up bullshit. Right. Yeah, it's healthy, not by love bullshit. Right. Uh, Turing says, uh, ah, sounds like a good wife. <laughs> Beard Psycho Billy says, heavy trench bow. Yeah, something like that, man. It'd go through. I imagine the, the one would go right through a horse, clean through a horse, you know, horse's ass. The whole back end of a horse, right through it, out the other side, and right through the person behind that. Uh, Steel Street says, I was in a live stream the other night. I was trying to give my email to someone. Uh, YouTube kept deleting the comment with the email. Really? That's weird. It's crazy, dude. See, they're, they're they don't want people, you know. And 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 here's the thing: don't think that they don't know we're all connected to each other somehow. You know, all these different families that we have, you know, going on here. This little family where we're all on each other's shows and stuff. Don't think that shit don't register. They've got an algorithm that picks up specific stuff just like that. So every one of us. Is on the chopping block, most likely. Chacha says, Air Force Base just put out a comment, uh, check in their security system tomorrow. Never done that before. Yeah, I, I would imagine in the next uh, couple months, there's going to be doing a lot of shit that's going to be getting done that's never been done before. Turning Gun says, you can't share email uh, for like over a year now, at least. What? What, what kind of fucking rule is it? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Mad Catter says, yep. Jess Mess Mess says, uh, they always mess with space. Right. I, um. And I've met a lot of you through space and then on to other shows like Mad Chad and stuff like that. So Steel and Tree says uh, doesn't have a problem in other live streams. Don't have a problem in other live streams. Just here. Zombie Force says, damn, it takes one and no one. Um, Chacha says, uh, oh, we are all on their lists, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
Turning gun says, yes, they do, Jets. Very psychobilly says, cha-cha, the uh, shit going on in Jerusalem is coming to a head, and we are looking for a retaliation for the booms we gave. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, like fucking Israel and Palestine, like all that dumb shit. Like, that's none of our fucking business, man. Leave these other fucking countries alone, man. You know what? America fucking first, dude. We don't belong. If we if if we got that big of a problem with somebody, then we should be sending our people over there. It should be us versus them. I'm done being, you know, we need to be done being the world police and the protectors of everybody else in the world. Okay. Empires rise, empires fall. Um, America has been so dismantled in the last three years. We are, we're a joke on a world stage. Um, Tiny countries, Iran is not afraid of us. Uh, all these other little BRICS countries, all that shit, none of them are uh, None of them are afraid of us, okay? And we are on the chopping block, too, as a country. They are all looking at us like, oh, boy, they are stretched pretty fucking thin right now. Chacha says, yes. Turning guns says, uh, space has connection issues, though, right? Bearded Psychobilly says, now they, inv they in now they invested us, Captain. Now they invested us, Captain. Um, zombie forces says exactly, Captain. Oh, wow, I'm actually kind of right about something tonight. Weird. Beard psychability says politicians make us the, the nosy neighbor bully, right? <laughs> Stealing tree says had my taxes done, getting refunds for the last three years, and I don't owe Ukraine anything. Good for you. Mad Catter says, I heard Iran sent a message to Israel saying they're gonna bomb them. Yep, not sure when. Oh, yeah, dude, Israel. They already said Israel um, has already said they are going to war with Iran. So good luck there. You know, we can't we can't be in all these wars at once, man. Um, you know, and then what happens with Taiwan? They're just going to scoop that right up. Although I think the Ty I think the Taiwanese are going to fight really hard. And I don't know that Japan can carry out a, a really successful um invasion with a hundred hundred miles of water between them but i don't know turning gun says i haven't been able to share my email in a chat in a long time that's so weird man mad catter says thank you cap crazy shit <laughs> uh yeah man the world is crazy dude you know this is what makes sane people insane like when you look at the world you know, and I see like these far left um, people say this shit on these newscasts like, oh, well, it leads these people, these crazy people down rabbit holes of stuff that just isn't true. Well, here's the thing. The stuff that is on MSNBC and CNN is the stuff that is not true, like verifiably untrue. The stuff that we get hung up on is the true shit. But to have over half the country say that we're crazy people makes us crazy because it's so fucking evident and self self-evident and obvious to anybody with common sense and a little bit of logic. The problem is, is over the last hundred years, they have beaten common sense and logic out of everybody in the country. Um, I, I pity anybody that's under gen gen X. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Cha Cha says it will probably be after Ramadan ends Tuesday. Um, maybe. Zombie Force says Americans are in denial of the words outnumbered by bricks and the gold, the $34 trillion debt. Yep. Steel Tree says turning guns. My email is still oh, you put this, this thing out. Okay. Vlad Darkul, what's up? Says, damn, late again. Yes, you are. But, you know, it's not the quantity of time you're here, Vlad. It's the quality. Magic says, hey, Zombie Force and Mad Ketter and blah, blah, blah. Mickey Bo Wee Bobby says, I seen Taiwan was hit with a very powerful earthquake a couple of days ago. Yeah, China got out the earthquake gun and was like, mm, we'll get you. Uh, Magic says, hey, to Vlad. Mad Ketter says, Magic. Wee Bobby says, hello, Magic. Magic, everyone. Uh, Cha Cha says, the woke ignorance, right. But their ignorance makes me insane. And I can't have that. You know, I can't have dumb people driving me crazy. I only have so much sane and it's for me and the smart folk. You know what I mean? Um, magic says the people I talk to don't think anything is, is a mess, right? I'm done talk. I'm done dealing with people like that. Like, and it's weird because I used to have to like watch what I say around people, but more and more, I don't have to anymore. The more new, the newer people that I meet, most of them are sick of all this shit too. And, um, it's another thing that's going on. The Democrats are going crazy right now because they're not the, the numbers they're giving us for them are really bad, but that's through their filter. 
the numbers are really, really fucking bad. Uh, Beard Psychobilly says, nothing more dangerous is a stupid ass with power. Exactly. Hence, President Biden. Magic says, same to each uh, same to each their own. I say, right. He says, hello, Vlad Bakul. Um, did you, uh, speaking of Tim Pool, um, he made a comment and they started looking into it on one of his shows the other night and it now it's turned into like a thing. Um, anyone see that, uh, like, I don't know, 30, 39,000 dead people tried to vote in Mississippi, um, in the last two weeks, uh, 1.2 million dead people tried to register in, or I'm sorry, 400,000, 500,000 dead people tried to uh, register to vote in Texas. Um, also with Arizona, same thing. Um, you look into the HAVA website and look up these numbers and it's, they're not wrong. And if you look at the numbers from now and then you go back to the last couple of years, they, these are unexplainable, un, impossible, improbable, could not happen, would not happen. These numbers are absolutely out of fucking control. California had 4,000 new people registered to vote and only one of them was a dead person. Um, the, the, the chance of 39,000 dead people trying to trying to register to vote that have never voted for before in a couple of weeks cannot happen, will not happen, did not happen, does not happen. Um, bad case of Democrat flight, says Barrett Psychobilly. Nope, that ain't it, dude. It's the, the dead. The dead are, you know, maybe this is the biblical prophecy and, and we all misread it. We thought the dead were actually going to rise and walk the earth. The, it's It's not literal it's the dead are being registered to vote because hey you know there's only one way to win that's cheating so there is no way in hell no possible way in hell would not could not happen the chances are 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 like 0.00001 to to a billion that Donald Trump doesn't win this election if it's run fairly um they've already done so much work to stop him and all they do is keep feeding him you know the funny thing is if they had ignored Donald Trump 4 years ago um he, he wouldn't have anywhere near the power. They keep giving him free press because guess what? Not only does Trump make money off his name, but everybody else makes money off Trump's name. Lawyers, fucking investigators, these fucking crazy a AGs or, or uh, DAs or whatever. Um, everybody who has anything, MSNBC it should be called the Donald Trump station and CNN should be called Donald Trump too. Um the voting dead. Yes, the voting dead. That's <laughs> funny. We should make a little comic book of that. Um, anyone applied for a chicken license yet? Yeah, I heard about that today, too. They're going to take all kinds of meat away from us because um, people without protein cannot fight as well. They're more easy to be docile. Feed them starches, white bread, pasta, rice. Uh, kill them with 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 sloppy fat people food. Um Bearded psychobilly chickens that identify as frogs because the frogs are all gay. Uh, Matt Catter says all the assholes, right? Chicken registry coming soon, right? Um, we're all going to have to be registered sooner or later. That's why I've spent the last two years like disconnecting myself from any pot. As far as anybody knows, I am a phantom. Couch surfing. So couch surfing phantom. Um, Teresa says, uh, cha cha Joe Biden is the walking dead weekend at Bernie style. Dude, somebody just came out from ESPN that got fired that interviewed him right away when he got elected. And she said that every question, every question was edited, re edited, um, all by these Disney execs. And uh, she was told she could not ask any follow up questions, she couldn't stray from the questions at all. And they had people coaching Biden the whole fucking time. So if he started straying, they cut and then re-asked him the question. They had people telling him the right words to say and everything. She said it was the sickest thing she ever seen. She literally said, this country is a weekend. We have a weekend at Bernie's presidency. So Texas says egg prices are going up because of the bird flu. Hey, I know. Well, you know, that they're going to, I knew they were going to, dude, they're going to fucking um, convict, wrongfully convict Donald Trump. They are going to lock us down. They're going to do, they are pulling out. You thought last election season was crazy. They are going to pull out every fucking trick this time, dude. Um, there is nothing that they won't do to stop 
him from winning. And the thing is, is he's still going to win. The more they do that, the more people keep going. They don't realize they're scaring their own people. They've gotten so crazy that they're scaring their own crazies away from them. Uh, their uh, Democrats are literally saying, don't for these primaries, don't vote for Joe Biden. Just leave it blank. So Magic says, I've been prepping. Uh, I think we're on our own. Yeah. Uh, Beard Psychobilly says, I am disconnected. People that know and know me are looking. Uh, the rest, I'm a ghost. Right. I may get two or three calls a week. I don't even get that, dude. I'm an absolute, I could disappear. I could, you know, that Homer Simpson uh, meme where he goes into the bushes. Um, it would take me about five minutes to do that in real life. Like with everyone and everything, you know, nobody would miss me. Uh Mad Catter says, Magic, uh, there never were any leaders. Uh, Chacha says, Magic, yes, we are. Underground Chicken Railroad. <laughs> Magic, you got the uh, the comment trophy for the night. I don't know where it's at right now, and I'm blind, so sorry. Oh, wait, is that it? Nope, that's not it. Where did I see Chris Horn? I just saw that. Uh, anyway, you know what it looks like. You got the trophy for tonight, so good, uh, good on you. Um <laughs> Indoor gardens is magic. Yeah. Yeah. Zombie force says Abraham Lincoln, Kennedy, Trump. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Beard psychobilly says uh, like. Shh, shh. See, totally disappeared. Nobody even noticed. Uh, magic says, got to save the chickens. You, we must save the chickens. Uh, Mad Catter says puppets. Oh yeah, I do. Oh yeah, my puppets would miss me, and all my little characters. Stealing Tree says, uh, "Got a huge load of books at an estate sale. One of the books is titled How to Disappear.' Ooh, that's like one of those. That's probably like one of those old '60s or '70s like books that like sold ten copies and just disappeared, but people have in their basements and shit. That's weird. Chacha is laughing at Magic. Magic got the tr my, yep. See, Magic got the. Uh, there's the trophy. Thank you." Bearded Psycho Billy's laughing at Eric. Um, let's see. Uh, Turning Guns says, uh, how much you want, Eric? LOL. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dude, holy shit. It's getting hot in here. It's like cold outside. Uh, yeah, man. You know, you know, one day I'll be gone. Uh, Stealing Tree says, uh, Bearded, not joking, still have the book. Good. That's cool, man. You should fucking share that, Stealing Tree. Post pages on my uh, my comments or something. I don't know. Um, you know, all this stuff, you know, all these videos that I've got on here, all the music I've made one day is just going to have dust on it. Nobody will ever remember me or know. Maybe one day in the future somebody will discover me. Doubtful. Uh, wouldn't that be fucking ironic? Um, I get a, a posthumous uh, record deal and become a huge pop star, and they 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 just take pictures of me and they make 3D ghosts of me on stage and shit. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, be like the Cheshire Cat, just smile and slowly disappear. Yeah, I don't know. I probably won't even smile. I don't smile much. Mad Catter says, "Make two girls in a cup great again." <laughs> Remember when times were that easy that two girls in a cup was everything? Um, Magic says time capsule, a USB drive. Yeah, isn't that funny? Your whole life could be fucking uh, loaded down to an, uh, a USB drive or a fucking SD card or something. Stealing trees, saying, uh, giving out his email. Chacha -cha says, uh, all we are is dust in the wind. Zombie 4 says, uh, if it gets too bad, just dress up like a homeless illegal alien. You'll be fine. Yeah, see, but like, I'm not so much worried about money and, oh, look, I don't have to have my hat on. That's cool. You guys can't see how messy my hair is. Ooh, it's bad. But uh, ooh, look at my little gray streak. I have them on the side, too. Um, I was going to say, it's, it's it, like things that make me sad are not money things or any of that shit. I get sad just because the state of the, the, the state of things, like I, people are sad and angry, man. Like I can't handle going out because everybody's angry or sad. And Cha-Cha says a uh, zombie, LOL. Um, 
Yeah, man, I don't like seeing like I used to like humanity, even though I'm one of those guys who like I'd be I'll be in a room with 50 people and still be lonely as fuck. But that so that's why my entire life I've always been like the DJ or the guy up on stage with the guitar or whatever, like or the artist or whatever. I've always been like like or the guy with the YouTube show, or whatever, because I'm not good at like actually interacting with people, but I'm fine on a microphone. Like I can't talk to like two or three people in the corner of a big room full of people, but I'll get up on stage and talk to everybody. You know, it's weird. It's a weird life, man. I'm just not good. I don't know how to talk to people. Mad Cat is a zombie, but I uh, do. I don't like to eat shit. Lol. Well, who does? Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just a weird existence. Like so, it's tough when I go out and. And if, you know, people are just so fucking negative and angry and horrible, like, like, I don't want to go out and meet people and talk to people, you know? Uh, Chacha says, people do seem worried and angry. I'm one of them. You know, I got anger issues probably. And I mean, I don't know how to get my anger out very well, but, um, but yeah. Wiki Bobby says, be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Wiki, you're getting a trophy, too. That was a wonderful comment, dude. Be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Dude, that is that was the perfect comment for today. Good for you. You get a trophy, too. You get a trophy. Everyone gets a trophy. Magic and you. Best comments of the night. Great comments. That was a great comment, Wiki. Perfectly timed. Um, Zombie 4 says... Uh, you won't have to mad. You won't have to mad cat, or you'll get a credit card in a room. Right? Magic says cha cha, but they are in denial. Uh, Magic says uh, cha cha says magic so true, even with it smack in the face. Right? Mad cat says zombie. Uh, then they'll feed me shit. Oh uh, yeah, I'd be like snow piercer. You get those little uh, those little gelatin bars that you don't know are made out of roaches. Oh cha cha, you put up another trophy for uh, for a wiki. Thank you. Magic says, if they accepted and went proactive, we would have a small chance. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Nobody's going to be all these people running around with all this patriot this and all that other stuff. They're the same people who aren't doing shit about the people who are still sitting in fucking prison over January 6th. They're not, they're people, the people like that, they're afraid to do anything because they'll be right next to them. Steel and Tree says that the Kardashians gave up Bruce's wiener for Lent. <laughs> Um, yeah, even the people that, you know, you think you're going to get with when, when, you know, bad times come and shit hits the fan. Um, nobody's doing anything. Nobody's being proactive. Like this is the, this is it, man. This is the time. Like you either take care of the tyrannical government or it's all just words and they, they roll over you. You know what I mean? Like if somebody doesn't start something somewhere, if somebody isn't the catalyst, Everyone's going to lay down and just get rolled over. They're all going to be a bunch of logs and uh, the Egyptians will be fucking rolling giant fucking granite blocks over you. Uh, Zombie 4 says, you can do it. Chacha says, it's laughing at steel. I mean, you know, I, lo I love that I see people, these little smiley face emojis and the laughing ones in the, in the chat because that's about all we got left, man. It's one thing they can't take from us is, is our thoughts. And uh, Chacha says, uh, Steel, you get a trophy. Too. Oh, Chacha's handing out the trophies now, I see. Okay, it's not my. Oh, I see. I just got fired from my job. But we do still have our words and our, our humor and, and our time together and all that kind of stuff. Because after that, man, there isn't much left. You know what I mean? Um, there's shebang potato chips. I like those a lot. Uh, other than that, that's all we got, man. We got this dumb little stuff here, you know. It's not that dumb, but. Wait a minute, why do I got 15 people watching and only 14 thumbs up? So I'm going to get mad. I'm going to get, start getting crazy on the YouTube stuff. Hit the notification bell. Uh, share with your friends. Well, actually, no, no, don't share with your friends. You know, maybe some of them video. I don't know. Share with your friends. Share, share the video. It's the way, you know, if you guys can't afford to join the club or whatever, my, my, uh, my uh, jug club, uh, it's only 20 bucks a month, but you get all kinds of extra bonus content, blah, 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 blah. But at least give it, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Hey, somebody give me the thumbs up. Thank you. Um, oh shit. Got an extra one too. Um, give me a thumbs up and share the video. It's free and it really helps the channel against the algorithm. Oh God, I get so tired of hearing that. Uh, Beard Psychobilly says, uh, yeah, most things are fucked up like Hunter on the first. Yeah. Magic says, uh, us few try. Chacha says, crappy, you should know by now 
the women rule. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> women rule my channel. I'm just, I'm, I'm like a second in charge of my channel now. That's awesome. Teresa and, uh, and Specs and Cha-Cha are running the show. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Vicky says, uh, we're all family in here and here to have fun. Yes, we are. Um, Vlad says, sorry, my bad. About what? What'd you do? What bad thing did you do, Vlad? Did you suck somebody's blood and take over their body? Cha-Cha is laughing at magic. Jets puts up the Instagram for Ken Crappy. Thank you, Jets. I appreciate your work, man. Teresa's, uh, there's Teresa. She's uh, laughing and crying and thumbs up as seeing Cha-Cha is laughing. <laughs> Thank you guys for rolling the roost. Um, I can't be trusted to do it on my own, you know? If it was up to me, every night I'd have some different weirdo up here yelling. Zombie Force says, life is a challenge. Uh, big ones, little ones, and don't fight naked unless you absolutely have to. Um, well, that's what they do in jail, dude. Uh, well, they usually have uh, boxer shorts on, but in prison, if they're going to fight, you know somebody's going to fight because you'll hear their jumper hit the floor uh, and go sliding across the floor, and they kick their shoes off because the the floors are polished concrete, so they're really slippery. And the shoes you can get in there are all really slippery. So they, they go down to their boxers and they beat each other up. And somebody's dick's always out swinging around or whatever. It's stupid. Wiki Bobby, he's giving a lot of, That's an awful lot of thumbs up, Bobby. Hope you know what to do with those. Um, da -da 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 -da. Turning Gun says, uh, seen a ghillie suit dressed up just like a pile of trash. Just saying. Dude, you know what I was thinking of? Fucking, that's so weird you said that. I had a, I had a picture in my head of, uh, you know how they're doing that, uh, like, electronic camouflage now? Um, I don't know if it was in a dream or what, but they were making, it was called uh, landfill flage. And you just take, like, a big picture of an average landfill, and then you turn it into, a um, like, a textile and make a suit out of it so you can blend in in the piles of garbage, you know, in the afterworld there. Uh, Mad Catter says, I agree with you, Cap. Revolt is the only change that ever works. Yeah, but when 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 you're already beat down before you start, like like men, great men and women from the time of yore, you know, back when those things worked, revolutions and stuff like that, um, they're gone. And they made and that's what they did over the last hundred years. They got us addicted to uh Zell and Cash App and iPhones and you know, all this stuff that we're so worried about losing, like, like, you know, when they were fighting for this country, they knew they were probably going to die, but they were fighting so that their families, you know, people generations later, that's what they were fighting for. You know, we can't think past tomorrow, most of us, you know, so turning guns ask, how's the custard? The custard is the fine. He's great. He's doing great today. Uh, Teresa Buchanan says, turning guns. Actually, he got to go on a little adventure with me. Teresa says, turning guns. I've seen that also. Perfect camo for the right place. Bearded Psycho Billy says, uh, yeah, if you're uh, naked, it takes the fight right out of most dudes. No, 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 dude. These guys get their boxer shorts and they get to pounding each other uh, and then kicking each other and shit. They don't fight fair, I'll tell you that. Then a bunch of other dudes jump in. Cha-Cha says, uh, I will never be beat down. Good for you, Cha-Cha. You're like a superhero. You're like Wonder Woman. Turning Gun says, uh, we should have uh, a custard doggy update every stream. Press one. Okay. Uh, today's custard. We'll make like a little news segment. Today's custard update. Custard got to go to uh, the doctor with me in the car, and he loves riding in the car. Um, when From when he got attacked two weeks ago, he's got a little bit of... Uh, little bit of, uh, what do they call it, trauma. Um, usually when I get out of the car in the driveway, he lets me get out first. And then I got to get all my stuff out, take off the seatbelt, get out. And then he's on the leash and he comes out. Now, as soon as we pull up, he gets on my lap and waits. And he's looking to make sure that dog's not out and can't get to him. And as soon as I open the door, he jumps out and, and gets like away from the car. So he remembers it pretty well. So it must have hurt him, man. That sucks. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think my trash pile just moved. Hmm. <laughs> says magic. Mad Cutter says it. Yeah, good point. They'd wipe us out in seconds with the tech they have. Yeah, but like, then there's the, there's but there's also the saying is I'll take one man who believes in what he's fighting for with a stick over ten paid soldiers. So, well armed paid soldiers. Mad Cutter says I'm still gonna gonna die scrapping. Good. You should. You know. I hope you do. Turning Gun says, uh, I'm Scott. 
that naked shit gets me excited. <laughs> Coo. Uh, Cha Cha is laughing. Uh, Zombie Force says, fight. Hell, I'm going to cheat in every way. Winner. Thumbs up. I mean, that day, see, that's, that's what's sad too, man. Honor's gone. The only way to win this day, and, and, and all the people that are running the show let us know this by their actions. They let us know that the only way to win is to cheat. That's it. That's the only way you're going to win. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, I am really dry today. Yeah, the only way to win... The war that's coming will be to cheat, and and that's the that's the problem with people like us who have. Um, uh, Mad says, uh, or Mad says exploitations. Mad says, uh, zombie, I'm with you. Cha Cha says, Mad Cat, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, like uh, people like us, people who have honor and morals and ethics are going to be the first to go. Okay, because if you can't fight by their rules, you will lose. We just talked about that, right? Like, um, that's why terrorists win because they're, they don't care how they win. They just care that, that they win. That's it. You know, um, people with morals and ethics do things like write the Geneva convention. Well, we can have war and kill each other, but we have to do it like, you know, nicely. Magic says, make use of situations. Yeah. Uh, I learned that in crowd my God, man. Like, like the best way to win a fight is to not even be there. But if you are there, everything's a weapon and every there, there is in street fighting. There are no rules. There are no, you can't fucking bite my balls off or fucking rip my ear off or whatever. That's, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. So it's hard to get yourself over that, to go over that line. You know, here's, here's that line that we don't cross because morals and ethics and, and honor and all that stuff. If you're not willing to jump up and over and go past that, uh, it's going to give everybody against you a distinct advantage. So, uh, bearded psychobilly says rules, only rule in, only rule I'm preaching in the shit, uh, to come is to make sure you and yours keep breathing no matter what. Oh, thanks man. That's cool. Um, I'd like me and Custer to survive at least, but, but I want to find a, some kind of like, you know, where it's not constantly, you know, worried about dying. Mad Catter says, indeed, choose the battle. Right. Um, I mean, that's 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 where pride meets morals and ethics. Like somebody challenges you, can you, and you and you and you know you're right, and you have every right to stick up for yourself. Can you run away and not let it bother you? Or do you have to go and fight them? You have to go and fight them, and you have your morals and ethics. They're going to kill you, dude, because they'll do it any way they can. You'll be tussling with them and grappling. They're going to pull a big knife out and stick it right in your gut. Okay, you wouldn't do that because you got too much too much, uh, too much, much uh, ethics and morals to do that and, and honor and stuff. But pride will stop you. Like if you don't – if you have too much pride and and they, they do whatever to start shit with you and if you can't run away – that pride is going to kill you. Your pride and your honor, the two best things you have, pride and honor, not prideful like bi biblical, but just having pride in the way you are, who you are and stuff like that. Your pride and your honor are two distinct fucking weaknesses and shit hits the fan, okay? Um, if you can't run, if you can't cheat, <laughs> you are fucked, you know? Uh, zombie call uh, zombie zombie force says bite claw pull 100% right. Um, steel and tree says I'm not biting anyone's balls. Well, <laughs> I, you, know, you know, I like to go a little overboard to make my point. Chuck just says, uh, we all have our tolerance. Mine is don't mess with my animals. I agree. Mad Catter says no egos, just defense. Right. That's why I love Krav Maga because they, they, they try and kind of get that out of you a little bit, you know? Uh, zombie force uh, says to think is death. Right. Cha Cha says you never let them get close enough to use a knife. Exactly. Magic says any immediate shortages predicted uh, going on prep hall tomorrow. Oh, uh, you know what, dude? You know, when shit like this is going to happen, those first three days, um, you know how you keep the hordes off you? Have a nice, well, don't have anything to give them. Don't give anybody anything. But if you're going to leave a cache of something 
far away from your house to keep them to make them go that way, I would say Red Bulls and fucking uh, hot Cheetos. <laughs> um, that's just me though. Mad Catter says, right. Chacha is laughing at steel. Turning gun says, I believe actually God keeps me safe and, uh, and safe from me. Simple prayers seem to go a long way in my life. That's excellent. Turning guns. That's a good thing, man. Um, you know, I mean, you, you get, everybody's got to have their reason and the animals, God, whatever it is, you know, uh, reason to, to keep going, to keep pushing forward, you know, um, me, you know, I mean, all this stuff, all this, you know, this shit, it's the fan stuff, this end of day stuff. At the end of the day, I don't want to have to hurt anybody, you know, and that, that, that is going to make me put me at a distinct disadvantage right away. Cause I will fucking stutter. I will pause, you know, something in me, I'm so, I'm hyper empathetic. Like I can tell what people are thinking and saying without, you know, without knowing what they're saying or whatever. Like I'm so hyper soft. I will see something and someone be like, well, maybe I shouldn't, maybe this person is redeemable, whatever. And that will get me killed. Uh, Meg Hatter says that, uh, and, and I'm with you on that. I should have been dead many times and still here. Oh yeah, for sure. Bearded people says don't don't fire unless you absolutely have to draws more attention. Exactly, yeah, the noise. That's why the bows are good. Um, Zombie four says avoiding stupid get more difficult as the bus gets fuller. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. Cha Cha says magic sugar with the bridge that was hit uh, with with uh, bring prices up. That was the major import for Domino sugar. Oh really? No shit. It's good to know, Cha Cha. Uh, Magic says, thanks, Chacha. Mm -hmm. uh, sugar, I did not know that. Dominoes, huh? Domino sugar. Um, yeah, man, this is, no, well, this is, this is, this has been kind of uh, helpful to me. Um, you know, just don't go and get these, man. These are stupid. Don't put, don't pay your hard-earned money. If it's three, three bucks or a buck or whatever, I don't care whether you're, they're stupid. Um, you know, I've looked, I've looked at the sun a billion times and never had any problems with it. Well, not a billion, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, that's, that's the same thing as like, you know, oh, here goes this, the ghosts and the aliens, you know, or whatever. I don't know. I shouldn't dog out what other people believe in. I just, you know, like. Proof, I'll take it. You know, you got these ghost chaser shows that have uh, I've been on for 20 years. Uh, they've been looking for the curse of Oak Island for 20 seasons and haven't found it. So I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Magic says thanks to Cha Cha. Magic says added to the list. Cha Cha says magic, of course, also salt and dry goods. Uh, Cha Cha says, of course. Cha Cha says, uh, I bought 150 pounds of sugar. Oh, you're really into it, Cha Cha. Good for you. Beard Psycho Billy says, don't stare. Yep. Uh, Magic says, uh, yeah, I have a supply of such stuff, Chacha, but we'll top it off. Chacha says, you will need it to make uh, bread and other things. Bread and other things. Uh, it just sounds like so much work, man. Like, like I said, I spent a lot of time prepping and thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, this and that. And, you know, oh, yeah. and now I'm just like, oh, God, it sounds like so much work. Magic says, uh, like, if every minute of your life is a battle, holy fuck. Yeast, too, then. Okay, Chacha says, uh, Magic, I would especially with what the government is doing by October 31st. What's that? Um, Wiggy says, uh, like that Ozzy Osbourne uh, son, Jack Osbourne, doing ghost shows. Oh, really? God, that dude will do anything to stay on TV. Holy fuck. Some of these people, man. Holy shit. Uh, Chacha says, it is daunting, but you need to prepare. Turning Gun says, uh, I pray for safe passage when I travel just about every single time I drive. Right, ride or uh, fly. And in the last 35 years, I only hit one animal, a chiseler, in 2005 uh, in Grand Teton Park. I'll never forget. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Cha Cha says, I follow two military sites uh, and things are not good. I have a friend, like I said, uh, 
officer in the Navy that has a security clearance. So, um, yeah, I know things aren't good, man. And I'm afraid of the military or at least half of them. You know, I don't know what they're going to do. But, uh, yeah, man, it's giving Chacha, you really got your shit together. Good for you, man. Um, anyhow, let's see. Your time's 1130. It's time for big boy. It's time for big cat and crappies and little custards to go to sleep or at least to put on Archer and eat a few potato chips and then go to sleep. So Magic says, Cha-Cha. Zombie 4 says, it's hard to explain on the interwebs, uh, on defense, on the improvising of daily things. Yep. So I'm going to end it here, kids. Thank you so much for kicking it with me. I really need to get some shit off my chest. I hope you got something out of it. I know I did. I always do. Good laughs, good comments tonight. We give away two fucking participation trophies. Well, not we. Now that Cha Cha is in charge of uh, doling out the participation trophies, remember we want to keep those. Like the fewer we hand out, the more worth they are. You know. So, Mookie says good night, everyone, and Captain and General Custer. Thank you. Steel and Tree says take care, iconic. Take care, everyone. Turning gun says oi oi oi. Cha Cha says the government hired thousands of contractors this week to. Uh, to uh, harden the government buildings by October 31st. Oh, really? See? That shit scares the fuck out of me. Magic says, yeah, good group, always fun. Peace out, y'all. Uh, Zombie Force says, good night, Captain, and everyone. Good night, um, Achievement Slayer. I'm glad you're still here. He says, thanks for the stream, Captain. Anytime, dude. Anytime, man. Bearded, Sa thank you for your service, Achievement. Uh, Bearded Psycho Belly says, good night, fuckers. Cha Cha is laughing and crying. Jet says, night all. Man Catter says, sorry, I was late, everyone. No problem, dude. Uh, Chuck just says bearded, true, but um, these two are not fans. But these two are not fans. Um, thanks at bearded psychability. Turning us night jets. Uh, Chuck just says yes, I confirmed it. Mad Catters fist pumping, Captain. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, rather than playing guitar tonight, I'm gonna take the easy way out and just play the actual theme song. <laughs> Yes! God, that song rocks. <laughs> totally jazzes me up, man. Uh, Vera, uh, Vera says, uh, be good. Much love, you too, man. Uh, Turning Guns, thanks, fandom. You rock. No, Turning Guns, you rock. But I'll rock with you. Turning Guns thanks, says, thanks, guys. Mad Catter says, oi, oi, oi. Turning Guns says, cool people here, definitely. I couldn't agree more. You guys are great. Chacha says, good night, all. Prepare or prep. Absolutely. Words live by. Chacha, thank you for becoming an employee of uh, Fandom Iconic channel. <laughs> uh, Magic says, night, Chacha. Good night, everybody. Custard says, good night, too. So, 